CPR in action. Saving lives by restoring blood flow and oxygen. Have you ever wondered how to perform CPR and save a life when the heart suddenly stops beating? In this video, we will take a 3D look inside the human body to understand the crucial steps of CPR cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Learning these life-saving techniques could make all the difference in an emergency. Let's dive in. Our cardiovascular system works tirelessly, delivering oxygen-rich blood to every cell, ensuring our body's proper function. However, when sudden cardiac arrest occurs, the heart abruptly ceases its effective pumping, leading to a halt in blood flow without immediate intervention. Without prompt action, the brain, vital organs, and heart itself begin to suffer irreversible damage underscoring the critical importance of initiating CPR without delay. In fact, brain damage can start within just four minutes, and after 10 minutes, the damage becomes irreversible. Initiating CPR holds the key to survival in these dire situations. By stepping in, you become the lifeline that can't prevent irreversible harm. CPR achieves two vital objectives, moving oxygenated blood to the brain through chest compressions, you manually circulate oxygen-rich blood to the brain, maintaining its function and preventing brain damage. Sustaining blood and oxygen flow to the heart. The rhythmic compressions also ensure that blood and oxygen continue to reach the heart muscle, enhancing the chances of restoring a normal electrical rhythm after defibrillation. As you begin the compressions, you essentially create an artificial pump, taking on the role of the heart. Each effective compression builds pressure within the circulatory system, propelling blood throughout the heart and up to the brain. Remember, pushing down at least two inches allows for proper blood circulation, even if it leads to some pressure on the ribs. To maintain effective circulation, a compression rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute is crucial. This sustained rhythm ensures a steady supply of oxygenated blood preventing brain damage and organ failure. Let's examine the consequences of deviating from these guidelines. Interrupting chest compressions. Taking your hands off the chest interrupts blood flow to the brain, underscoring the importance of minimizing any breaks when delivering breaths or switching roles. Insufficient depth. Inadequate compression depth prevents adequate blood flow to the brain, emphasizing the need to push deep enough to generate the necessary pressure. Excessive speed. Pushing too quickly doesn't allow the heart sufficient time to refill with blood, reducing the overall effectiveness of compressions. Lack of recoil. Failing to allow the chest to fully recoil diminishes the heart's ability to pump blood effectively, highlighting the importance of proper technique. In essence, the core objective of CPR is to maintain a consistent flow of oxygenated blood within the heart and to the brain. When you step up to perform CPR, you're becoming a beacon of hope. Even if ribs are broken in the process, the potential harm pales in comparison to the irreversible consequences of oxygen deprivation to the brain. Remember, you are the lifeline. Your efforts could mean the difference between life and death. Don't give up until medical professionals arrive or an automated external defibrillator AD is on the scene. With the knowledge and determination, you can make a life-saving impact.